All right, folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to talk about uh, if you've ever been to my channel page, which you should visit, it'll be linked in the description below, as will the links to the three reviewers I'm going to mention. Uh, of course, you can find all the reviewers I trust on my page. This one is about the reviewer of the year and who the three top guys in the running are right now. And uh, they are, uh, well, we'll get to them in a second, and I'll tell you why they're at the top of the list. Let's do that right after the intro. All right, folks, today we're going to talk about the uh, reviewers I trust. Uh, some of them drive me nuts at times. But in large, uh, they, uh, the lowest I have of 10 or 11 of them is enough to kill two hours a day watching all their videos. I watch every single one of their videos. But I do not give up my Reviewer of the Year award to just anyone. But I am giving it out again this year. And I can tell you the top three reviewers in my estimation. Now, that's only my estimation. Make sure to check the description below. Uh... So in no particular order, they are C. Butler, Mr. J. Williams, and my Project 13. These guys do top-notch videos. And you may ask why these guys are at the top of the list. Because they test out cases. Far too many reviewers, you know, they unbox it and go, oh, it came with a TPU case, you don't need that. They fall in love with the back of the phone and the prettiness of it and ignore the fact that the back of the phone is simply there to hold the cameras. Quit sound like a 14-year-old girl going, oh, that's the prettiest purse ever. These guys also do longer-term testing. Not the old truth after just two weeks. Uh, there are a few on my list that have done that. Uh, and of course, everyone on my list, though, is worth watching for good, basically honest reviews. Some of them fell into line with the uh, OnePlus oh, stuff about a year ago. Well, they all got a reviewer's handbook. They showed it to you even, but they didn't mention that was part of the contract, and they all dropped it in water. It didn't come with a frickin' IP rating, folks. These cheapskate bastards at OnePlus couldn't spend the money and keep the price down? Xiaomi does, or they don't have an IP rating. And if you're dumb enough to drop your phone in water, well, then maybe you ain't so bright. So, uh, Here's the sign. If you found any of this the least bit informative, remember, I'm going to link, if you go to my channel page, which I'll link in the description below, but all you got to do is click the high-end cheap tech thing below the video, and it'll take you, and you'll see the channel page if you're on it. Yeah, in portrait mode, and you can see stuff, you know, reviewers I trust list. You might have to renew that because you can only show 10 on there. So make sure, if this was the least bit helpful, leave some feedback. Like the video. Share the video. And uh, go visit these guys' pages especially the three I talked about. They'll be linked in the description below. So like us, subscribe to us, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.
And I gotta tell you, these version techs, I had them plugged into the uh, uh, Chewy tablet that I did the video on yesterday, and you won't even recognize it today. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you right now. There it is. Whoa. Yeah, I got the uh, Nova Launcher on there with the smoking glass icon back. And it's stunning. And you can watch movies on it all day long on Prime. Performance is flawless. Wireless connectivity is flawless. It's still a great tablet. I gotta go. Let's go to the outro. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.